to adjust it, it dies. I've been working and tweaking and adjusting and fixing uh, the carburetor and the wiring problem for about four hours, and I'm about through with that one. Uh, so, don't know what's going to happen to that one. I will uh, get rid of that motor, and uh, it runs great at one speed. At one speed, I had it running for about a half hour just to see, and it ran great, but it will not adjust. That carburetor, I don't know what's going on with it. I had a few pieces for the dumps up, and uh, I threw them in there. It's the one with the, uh, with the fill stick that goes all the way up from the bottom, and you pop that little plastic bowl out. I can't get that thing adjusted for nothing. So, I don't know, but I'm through with it. Uh, cut it. I just cranked it up just cause, uh, just to have something that ran. And now, about to go over to the shop side in just a second. I gotta take a look at a couple of things, but I wanted to announce the winners of Southern Off-Road Mowers, the first uh, contest we had. Elijah Wheeler, you won the grand prize. You get the big freaking sign. Thanks for putting your entry in. Matthew Maddox. Thanks, man. And Matt Landris. Thank you. I appreciate it, guys. Um, Matthew Maddox and Matt Landris. I will be, uh, what you won was a bunch of stickers and uh, I, I call it a goodie box. So you'll be getting a bunch of junk uh, coming. You can do a video about it if you want to or not. Um, Elijah Wheeler, you got the big sign. Guys, if you would uh, PM me your addresses or an address that you feel comfortable having it sent to. Because you, you may not feel comfortable uh, sending me your address. But uh, send me an address that you can check up and receive your stuff. How about that? Now, going over to the shop side. Shop side. This is a 14 and a half overhead valve. I see quiet that I've had uh, stuck aside in case I needed it. So I'm thinking I may put that on there or I may just pull the deck off, clean the deck up and sell the deck and recover my money from the mower for that and uh, just stick the mower body somewhere because I've got some kind of wiring problem going on with it as well. And it's taken hours, but I think I've gotten it figured out. But I also had this 17 and a half. Now it's getting kind of dark. You might not be able to see it. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and sell this separately. Um, so it's kind of where we sit with that Craftsman Tecumseh hybrid. I think I'm going to kill it. I think that's the best thing to do. It's got to die. Okay guys, now we're back. We're back over on the house side. As you can see, I kind of cleaned up, but that's all the wiring and all the crap that I had from that motor. Um, I don't know. That thing is just a pain in the butt. I'm sure it's just because I'm ignorant of Tecumseh motors or uh, carburetors or governors, uh, but interesting I don't know if you can see it uh, from the camera there's all kinds of little black crap all over the place right here this is a uh, carbon that was blowing out of that thing I mean like chunks of it that would just I mean just, for some reason there's a lot of carbon that's inside that motor I don't know if that has anything to do with it I doubt it uh, but it just kept blowing out and the only reason I noticed is because it hit you uh, while I had my hand down by the exhaust and it would almost draw blood and all that crap that was in there. So it's kind of interesting. But 
I'm gonna pull that thing off. I may, uh, like I said, take the cutting deck off, sell the cutting deck, and uh, have that one sitting beside for uh, parts. And uh, who knows, but that thing got me stumped. Have to sit down and read some more manuals on that stupid thing. Not too shabby for sitting there for three years. Not too shabby. Gonna have to go through the carburetor and uh, clean it out. Um, gonna have to replace some fuel line because you can see the leak. But I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, the uh, self-propel works on it, so not bad. A couple of little pieces and parts missing, so I got this the other day, and uh, I think I, I can't remember. I mean, it wasn't over 20 bucks, and uh, I normally don't buy these push mowers, but yeah, I took a chance, and kind of glad I did. It cranks and runs, and it drives or propels, so. And there's the bag right there. So that'll be nice, cause this one I may shoot beside the Tecumseh. Uh, we'll see, I don't know. It's just kind of busy. More to come, guys. But now we're back. Like I said, everything I touched today, I broke. Ah. So I'm going inside the house and sit in the corner. But did wanna give a shout out to Elijah Wheeler for the grand prize for the sign, man, thanks for entering all your stuff. Matthew Maddox, and then Matt Landris as well for thanks for winning the uh, uh, the other two prizes. And I believe you will be pleasantly surprised uh, when you get your junk. Sulphur City Designs for all of your off-road mower mudding, modding and stickage needs, always. And Southern Off-Road Mowers on Facebook, guys. Go to it and post some junk or not. But you won't win if you don't. That was our first contest. We'll have us another one soon. Thanks for watching. Remember, anybody you hate, send this to them. Y'all gonna make some mayhem, guys. I appreciate it.